All right, how we doing? Pernigo here, bringing you another Mapcraft 2017 submission, and we're stuttering right out of the gate, so you know it's going to be a good one. This is Squad 8, created by Max734734, at least I think that's the numbers that penned into his name. Uh, this is, looks like a somewhat comedic premise. Uh, Marine Man has a job to do. Do it for him. It also looks like it's going to be, uh, it's the first mission of what should be a campaign, considering it says mission one so we'll see where it goes it it's a fairly small map at least in the dimensions so i don't know how long it's uh gameplay will be command man for the last sodding time marine man we are not going attack to attack those red tards we have orders to watch and not learn what they're up to hq wants nothing to do with dropping bodies yet <laughs> watch and not learn <laughs> sir with all due respect Enough of this! You have your bloody orders, Marine Man. Carry them out. I guess he was supposed to be British. I ha I didn't get the memo. Well, shit. What do I do now? <laughs> Watch the briefing, don't listen to Command Man, or skip the briefing. <laughs> hey, you! Yeah, you. The player on the comm. Hi. Look, I don't know what your name is. I'll probably forget it by the time someone restarts this briefing. Point is, can you lend me a hand to take out those red tards? It'll be a fun time, I promise. I know what you're thinking. My boss command man wants nothing to do with attacking those red tards. But, if we just take out what we need, that's a good enough victory for me. Besides, if we take out too much of their shit, they'll start pouring out security like honey up our asses. What kind of a dadge is that? Adage, excuse me, what kind of <laughs> comparison? Honey up our asses. So what do you say? Take some time to think about it. Maybe the after briefing will help. See you soon. So there is an after briefing. We'll wait for that. End of briefing. Destroy the Red Tards Command Center. Marine Man must survive. Not counting the Command Center. Up to ten buildings can be taken out before a security alert adds reinforcements to the base. So we want to avoid that, if possible. End of briefing. What? We don't do after briefings, man. You're, you're seriously still here, O. Dotto? Yet. Like, come on, man. Colon. Is that the colon we're pouring asses, <laughs> pouring honey into? Okay, for realsies now, there is no after briefing. Get started already. Let's get started now, colon D. I'm, I don't buy it. There's definitely an after briefing. I like how Marine Man was, like, bouncing between the different <laughs> portraits for seemingly no reason. Like, it was never explained. I, I imagine he's just ADD and is constantly moving around the player, like, spinning around the player in a circle. For no, again, no reason, just because he feels like it. Wow, is there really no, was there uh, no real after briefing? Because he said the after briefing might help. So I assumed I would get access to some information or a joke that would make me in good spirits before I take on this mission, but I guess not. Well, that was a pretty entertaining briefing either way. I won't wait for much longer. Let's bump the game speed up. Here's Marine Man. He's a Todd Marshall and he deals 24 damage with 5 armor. That's a pretty good setup. We have access to just Marines, so let's do that. We don't have stim packs, so presumably we can grab them at some point. Would you like to know more? Fine flags. Okay. <coughs> okay. Well... <coughs> I'm finding phlegm in my throat right now, excuse me. I like the idea that maybe we can rescue this stuff. That's an academy, there's an engineering base, so we can get upgrades, and presumably we can also get access to... Oh, there's the red tards. Let's lead with Marine Man. He can take the beer. Okay. Um, Alright, so what we want to do is hockey these structures separately. And Marine Man will be his own hockey as well. All the trees here are going to provide a great amount of cover. <laughs> this is... This is very goofy. We should really start killing more people in the, these woods, boys. Why? Why is that, sir? <laughs> see? That's my marine voice, by the way. Why is that? Because they would not see it coming. Jesus Christ, Max! Max is... Okay, for those of you who are not on the Discord, you won't understand this, but Max does nothing but drop puns. Basically in every conversation he is ever in. So... 
Uh, of course, it makes sense that we would have a situation like this, where the map's dialogue involves puns correctly. Okay, again, we should be leading with Marine Man. I'm not, because I'm bad, but that's okay. Um, oh, medics! Awesome! Okay, let's do this. And we have access to supplies. Medic! Yes, exactly. Let's grab, um... Yeah, I guess let's grab U-238 shells. Marine range is going to be pretty useful. And then we'll just cap out the rest of our uh, money. We'll spend it all on Marines. And hope that we can recoup our money later on. So it's Alt-S for saving. So this is Squad 8. Yeah, so far this is a pretty enjoyable map. I mean, I know we're in the first, like, two minutes of it. But it doesn't seem to take itself too seriously. But it also makes use of a... A mechanic that I have not really seen in many maps, but I've theorized would be really, really engaging. And the idea is that you're supply capped from your buildings, right? You can't build... <coughs> um, you can't build very many units. But you can, like, access supply depots, like, res rescue supply, if I can speak English. And this would allow you to progress through the area. Basically. Uh, let's add everybody to the happy. Okay, so again, we're going to lead with, with Marine Man. Let's get all the medics to follow him. Oh, what the hell? These bunkers are empty. Are they? Huh, seems a bit out of place. I smell a rat. Where's our other medic? Oh, she was hiding. Okay, so we're going to... It's good to keep your medics uh, situated behind, like in another control group entirely. That way you can pull them back if you A-move. Let's uh, scout down here with our medics. Doesn't seem like there's any resource pickups just yet that we can gain access to. But that's okay. Alright, let's save again, because I'm save happy lately. Been playing some StarCraft 2 maps that have been pretty challenging uh, on high difficulties, like I Query's Submission and uh, the Annihilation Campaign. The sign says, empty bunkers ahead, no need for worry, winky face. Okay, that sounds like we do need to worry. Go, go, go. So let's, again, move our units up here. Um, okay. Yep, I knew it. That lying sign. Okay, so let's get a medic behind Marine Man. He's got the the addition, the uh, assistance, rather, of the trees to prevent them from fucking up too much. Uh, let's see. Like, uh, he's, he's gonna get cover from those. So let's keep progressing. All the trees are pretty hilarious. Oh, let's back up here. We got more bunkers. So we're gonna stim Marine Man. Who would have Jay Marino's portrait if I launched a very special mod. Okay, so let's move forward here. It looks like this bunker is not full. Okay. So we don't have to worry about that at least. I was worried that maybe Marine Man would take too much damage, but it looks like he's okay. Oh, my APM isn't displayed. How am I going to brag about my APM? There we go. Yeah, look at that. 160 APM, man. I'm so fucking good at this game. Okay. So let's put Marine Man over here. Let's actually back up the rest of the units, and we'll just keep a medic behind him on hold position. Okay. He's done it. It looks like this ba this bunker was also not garrisoned, but presumably the other one will be. So again, we're going to stim Marine Man, move him up. No, looks like not. Okay, let's keep it moving. We're progressing through this this forest. Again, checking different areas just to see if we have access to any uh, resource pickups. Let's uh, stim Marine Man. Let's not go too far that way. We don't know what lies ahead. Let's turn around and grab these guys. And there is another bunker, but it looks like we can get access to the engineering bay here, so I'm going to prioritize doing that. I like the idea that, I mean, it's, it's hard to tell, right? But I do like the idea that maybe these are, I guess since there are other units that we have access to. Oh, need an eBay. Keep it in one piece, and we should have it around for next time. Oh, interesting. So I wonder if uh, there's a mechanic here to uh, have, like, I don't know if he's just going to have multiple maps, and then if we keep this engineering bay intact, we'll have access to 
<laughs> excuse me. Um, like, we'll have access to it in a, a future mission if we if we kept it alive and it uses, like, set next scenario based on your victory conditions or whatever. Here's a radar tower. Maybe we can use this to spy on our enemies. Notice, you got 1,000 minerals and 4,000 gas. Okay, well, radar tower gave, gave us some cash. Awesome. Let's issue some upgrades. Let's get, uh... Yeah, let's get Caduceus Reactor. I don't see why not. And then we'll grab uh, stim packs afterwards. Upgrade and grab stim pack tac Upgrade. and armor. Awesome. Can we go any further over go, here? Go, go. Doesn't look like it. Research. Find radar towers for bonus stuff. Bonus stuff is good stuff, guys. Okay. Well, let's save again. Upgrade complete. And keep going. I've removed Marine Man from my Marine Control Group here. Just in case we want to micro them out a little bit later on. Did someone page me? Okay. Have him pick off these units. These guys can come in behind, from behind. Building limit breached. Next alert in three. Oh, enemy reinforcements in route. Okay. Well, shit, here they start coming. I forgot that about that completely, actually. The sign says, keep out, mine precious ahead. So, there's going to be spider heads. <laughs> is basically the idea. Well, let's um, let's pull back and see if we can protect our um, engineering bay here. I don't know if they'll actually be attacking from this direction or what the deal is going to be. I wonder also if we'll gain access to an SCV at some point and start setting up bunkers of our own. Yep, it looks like they are going to come over here, so let's move the medics over. Did someone page me? We should be able to keep most of our units alive here. We did lose one marine. But it wasn't a too uh, particularly difficult attack wave to deal with, so we should be okay. Alright, let's move forward. Let's save again. And we are going to just stop move. And that's Brood Warrior High for you. <laughs> okay. I think we can patrol as soon as we see one pop up. I'm not sure. Though. Okay, let's, let's see. Yep, we can. And there's Vulture. This is going to be another one. Okay, awesome. Well, I think we can take damage from it, but honestly, I don't know. No, I don't think we did. I think we were in the clear there. Let's stim him. Let's go ahead and hit these buildings. And should flick those, get those orders up, get that APM up. You gotta, gotta spam that. Building limit breached again. Oh yeah, we're not supposed to destroy these. Oh, and we're probably supposed to watch out for this rocky ground. It's an indicator. Enemy reinforcements dispatched. Let's move our squads over there. Or squad 8, if you will. Okay. Alright. Moving back and forth. Got stem. Let's take as little damage from these vultures as possible. Any more? No. Okay. Well, we have to destroy one of these buildings, I think. Okay, let's... You guys need to pull back, maybe? Okay, we need to stand here. We might need Marine Man. I think we, we may. I don't know. It's hard to say. We actually were able to pull back and, and wipe them out, so that's good. Um... We could lift this off, but I, I would not be surprised if there was just a bunch of missile turrets up there. Yeah! <laughs> How did I know? Okay, let's land it. Yeah, okay, so let's load our save. That's funny. Nice little uh, intuitive sort of um, protection from that sort of abuse by players. Okay, so let's grab a bunch of marines. Because we need definitely need more. And Marine Man can probably... Oh, yeah. Let's see if he can squeeze through. I'm pretty sure we need to destroy at least one of these supply depots to get through. But maybe we can... Yeah, we can do that. And grab... Eh, we'll grab, like, another group. Keep 200 minerals. I mean, I think we have all the upgrades we're going to get. So we can probably just max up, use all of our minerals here. Okay, so we can squeeze through there now. Right. Awesome. Oh, not awesome. <laughs> One HP is definitely not awesome, guys. <laughs> Holy moly. And we got this Congo line of Marines, which is great. He is Marine Man, after all. No, I want to heal him. No, I want to heal him. 
No, I want to heal. <laughs> okay, we're done role playing. And probably being uh, white supremacists or something. Or, well, I was not white supremacists. So a different word. Probably better for Whoa. Okay, well, I guess we're moving our units up further. Um, well, I think we could just do the rest of this with mostly like two medics, keep some medics back here, and then keep all these marines over here to defend our engineering bay. Because why not? I mean, obviously the other map isn't available right now, at least to my knowledge. But we might as well try and uh, complete that bonus objective, right? Okay, so you guys can move over here. We'll hockey all of these marines, as many as we can. And, okay, here we go. And we hockey these guys, because these are all marine men. There's the other alert. Okay, let's just move marine man back, actually. Because the last attack was pretty reasonable in terms of its strength, so... I don't want to underestimate this one. <coughs> I think a good thing to do to help the player keep track of it, completely optional, it's fine if you want to punish players who don't remember or keep track of the stuff on their own, but uh, it might be worth looking into if you would like to uh, have a tracker, like a leaderboard, that would keep track of how many... Uh, how many structures the player had destroyed at that point. Okay. Jimmy's got his, uh, or Marine Man has his, his fangirls in tow here. Oh, there's a, maybe another route over here, or maybe like another bonus thing that we can get. Let's, uh, let's see what we can find here. I definitely feel, at least so far, that this is a, a map that has used its space well, in the sense that we're we're using most of the map, like, there's... We're exploring through a lot of it, we're figuring stuff out. Let's see if we can walk through this without destroying anything. Okay, maybe not. It looks like we have to destroy at least one. But maybe there's, like, another bonus thing here. We could get more money, or maybe some vehicles or something. But yeah, like I was saying, I feel like it does use its space more. Next load is two. Okay. And we can't get through here without destroying a bunch of stuff. Uh, let's send the medics back. We'll keep using Marine Man here. We'll save in case this is a mistake, but I don't think it will be. We have a lot of Marines here. It's fine if we lose a few. We did last time, too. I think we lost one. One of our white Marines. Those heroes who have held out against the Red Tards. Oh, he gains 12 damage per uh, upgrade. That's pretty nasty. Okay, let's pull back here. We're not fighting underneath the trees. Well, rest in peace. Okay, we kept our white marines alive at least. Let's move you guys up here. We're gonna keep progressing. Under the tre under the trees! Six armor is pretty good. He basically takes no damage from the enemies. Well, unless they have both. Okay, let's just destroy this one. Again, we're we're gonna have these alerts happen to us a lot, because we have to destroy bunkers. It's a next alert in two every time. Let's put one medic back here for the purpose of saving, you know, obviously saving as many marines as possible. In the meantime, we can go ahead and stim again. A lot of, uh, a lot of vultures being built by the AI. To be expected. Okay. We're not underneath the trees, but I think we'll be okay. We just gotta kill these and hope that our men back here can live long enough to fight another red tire. How's Marine Man doing? He's doing it. Okay. Wow, the AI is really pumping out these vultures really quickly. Might be a bit of a design oversight that they're able to build this fast. Let's move back. I have not saved in a Well, I was going to say I have not saved in a while. And uh, there you go. It bit me in the ass. Okay, so this is when we were in the middle of being attacked. Um, let's move forward over here. We just gotta kill all these bunkers. Or maybe we don't have to. Maybe this is like a frontal area to assault, and that's why it's so difficult to... Right go. I'm sure you have a lot of cover. Okay, let's move back over here, like we were trying to uh, pull back again. You gotta let these guys come in and support you. Okay. Great. Let's move the medics over here. Just have them tail Marine Man. 
Okay. And we're going to keep moving Marine Man up here. Let's save again. It looks like this doodad has been placed incorrectly just to block us from being able to walk past the supply depots without destroying one of them. I can't remember if we already just we already did destroy one of the supply depots. Oh yeah, were there still uh, spider mines in here? No, it doesn't. Matter. Wow. No, hit this guy. What are you doing? Okay, get healed. First of all. Oh, no, 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 don't hit that. This is Jimmy. I wonder if it suffered deaths or it tracks it based on how many we kill. Because if it suffered deaths, we may be able to just hit them into burning, and then when they burn down, we don't, uh... It sort of depends on the condition, that's what suffered deaths is. Whoa! Okay. Okay. I think we'll be able to... They're spreading their damage out across the planet, so... Should be easy enough to come through here. Okay. So we... There's a lot of fucking units here. <laughs> <coughs> Holy moly. Okay, Marine Man should be able to take these guys out. Let's hit the, uh... Oh, once they stim, he's definitely able to just destroy them. What are our mission objectives again? The Red Tards Command Center. Okay. Oh, those units were just patrolling. Then they became disinterested. They don't call them Red Tards for no reason, you know? Okay. So that's where their stock was coming from. Let's get all of these guys and bring them up here. They should be able to help us out, but I don't think he's going to need too much help. Let's go ahead and destroy the command center, and then I don't remember if we have to destroy the production as well. Oh, no, it looks like we're all set. We won. We have conquered Squad 8 by Max734734. I don't know, I think I remember Max saying that this mission wasn't to his liking, or wasn't as well developed, but I thought it was pretty fun, and I thought it was pretty interesting based on the micro-oriented and, you know, the mechanics that he used to make the micro mission have a macro component, but not as fully fledged as just using your own base. I don't know where the story's gonna go from here. Command Man will probably be displeased with us if he ever continues this saga of Squad 8. Um, and I, I would like to see maybe a later map in the campaign, if Max feels like putting it through, that builds on this concept where, um, you know, you, you recover additional supply depots or whatever, and then... Or, or whatever the race is, it doesn't have to be Terran, obviously. And then, um, you know, the those units are, <coughs> those structures are in peril if you leave them unguarded. And you have to choose how many forces you want to, uh, you know, put to attacking and how many forces you want to leave defending. I think splitting your, your focus like that is a good idea. Um, and in general, I enjoyed playing this map. So you can check out this map and play it for yourself if you join the Jay Barino Discord, which is linked in the description of the video. And you can check out more content from me. I upload all the Mapcraft videos at 3 and 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. My normal uploads are 9 in the morning Eastern Standard Time. And I will be seeing you guys on the next video, whichever one you decide to click on. All right, bye-bye.